So yeah guys, just finished up, uh, I'd say maybe an acre and a half. Uh, this grass, when I cut it, was <clears throat> it wasn't cut for two weeks. And if you're living in western Pennsylvania, you could imagine and you can probably side with me that this grass is unbelievably high growing wise. Um, that the piece down here, we don't cut that. We can, but we just don't. Everything over here is all um, <clears throat> gonna be hay here this summer, but this part of the yard we do cut. Um, I use a technique where I, I just seen somebody on you on, on a TikTok that he said, if you have real tall grass and you have a lot of clippings left over to go through and cut at the finish height, then to come back through a razor deck a couple notches and cut again. So I did that and this is how it turns out. It's uh, it's gorgeous, looks really good. So um, yeah, if you guys didn't know about that technique, I recommend it. Cut at your finish height where you want it to be and then go back and recut it just at uh, the deck, you know, with a couple notches up. I think I went three notches up. Um, which would be about an inch and a half higher than where I wanted it to be finished at. This grass is currently cut at four inches finish height. Um, so, you know, I would say probably five, five and a half inches where I, I went back and cut it again and uh, it really dispersed everything, made it look, at least look good. Doesn't take away from the fact that there's still a lot of yard clippings out there. Um, but when you drive by, it looks awesome. Uh, looks very well striped, very well cut, manicured, taken care of. Um, so, yeah. If you guys haven't heard of the technique, try it out.